James H. Billington wrote another book besides the one I have here. It was called Russia Transformed, Breakthrough to Hope. And this is what he wrote. One of Russia's greatest art historians had told me in all seriousness a year before that all of Russia's troubles had begun when Gorbachev was initiated into a Masonic lodge by Margaret Thatcher during his first trip to London. Now, if you read our little pamphlet, you'll find that uh, Gorbachev's wife has taken several trips to India to consult with Sai Baba. Who is Sai Baba? Why he is demonically possessed. If you uh, see, read the book by our good friend Tal Brook, uh, who was actually Sai Baba's right-hand man. The book is The Avatar of Night. Sai Baba had tremendous mystical powers. Why is Mrs. Gorbachev going over to visit Sai Baba? Because Gorbachev is deeply involved uh, with the occult hierarchy that rules the world. And first, as you begin to read some of the things that he's written, he, Mikhail Gorbachev, the former dictator of Russia, who should be tried for war crimes, has combined with Marie Strong, who's a multi-billionaire and who until recently was the um, number two man at the United Nations, and Stephen Rockefeller, Professor Stephen Rockefeller. Now, for those of you who don't know who Marie Strong is, uh, there's a wonderful article we have in West Magazine. His wife is a witch. He has a 200,000 acre enclave which uh, he has set aside where the witches and the shamans and the occultists from all over the world come to Colorado, called La Baca Grande. And you can read a lot about this up on the internet. And of course, the Rockefeller family has been involved with the occult for several generations because you see, they've been well rewarded for their dedication to the prince of this world. And Mikhail Gorbachev, and Stephen Rockefeller and Marie Strong have written a new Ten Commandments for the World. It's called the Earth Charter. You can get it off the internet or you can contact us. We'll be glad to get you a free chart, copy of it. And there they're, of course, talking about how they, they're going to redistribute the wealth, not only within nations, but between nations. Equitable distribution of wealth within nations, between nations. Equitable distribution of wealth oh, within nations, that's communism. And between nations, well, of course, that's the master plan. That's why we're shipping our jobs overseas. That's why we're shipping our factories overseas. That's why they're running up the price of your oil and gas and, and electricity. It, it's to impoverish the American people, to raise your living standards to that of the Bolivian peasant. We want equality for everybody but of the ruling elite. And that, of course, is exactly what Plato wrote about. The Earth Charter today is kept in a counterfeit of the Ark of the Covenant because, you see, the Earth Charter, according to Marie Strong and Mikhail Gorbachev, is to be the new Ten Commandments for the world. You can go up on the internet and you find, verify everything we're saying. Uh, the Ark of Hope has been built. It is a satanic counterpart of the Ark of the Covenant. And there, the scroll, they write the, the, the Earth Charter on a scroll, just like the Ten, well, of course, the Ten Commandments are on stone tablets, but there really is an occult hierarchy that rules the world, and I hope that you'll take, get these, they're very economical, we put them together, get one or get all three of them together, and, and then help us get the information out. We are not involved in a political battle between right and left, Democrat and Republican, conservative and liberal. We're involved in a spiritual battle. Uh, that is being played out on a political, ideological, cultural, economic, educational battlefield. And tragic is that most people have no idea what is really going on today.